Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Embrace the Chaos podcast with Ruben and Marina. Hello. We are excited that you're joining us today. We have a yes. great conversation we're going to have. Yes. Marina's going to talk about it a little bit here. Yeah. Well, we're excited to have our friends Dick and Anna G with us. And we are going to specifically talk about recreational companions. Co- companionship. Recreational companionship. Yeah. So where, where does this come from, though? So we learned this. Um, we did this program our second year of marriage. It was from Marriage Dynamics, mm-hmm. which is an incredible program that you guys should do if you get the opportunity. Um, and it really helped us with some fundamentals in our marriage. But it it um, talks about this idea of recreational companionship, stuff that you do together in your marriage that could be unifying, bonding, creating memories, stuff like that. Yeah, so we, uh, Marina and I were talking about this a little bit recently because uh, we w- we wanted to follow up a little bit actually from a podcast that we did a couple of years ago when we first started this Embrace the Chaos journey. Yes, yes. We started in 2019 and we did an episode and we'll link it to this episode here. Mm-hmm. Uh, our third episode was called The Law of Entropy. Mm-hmm. And we talked about the idea that everything that uh, is in motion, this is a, a thermodynamics law, Everything that is in motion ends up in disorder or in chaos unless there's an outside energy or force being put into it to keep it going. And so the idea in marriage or in relationships or uh, even in your own spirituality and walk with God, the whole idea is that uh, there's a requirement or a need for intentionality Mm -hmm. uh, in our lives. Mm -hmm. And so in the idea of marriage, uh, you know, marriages end in so many marriages will end in disorder or in chaos right. uh, without some energy from the outside being poured into it. And then we thought about this dy- marriage dynamics class that we took, um, and it p- provided some great tools for us in regards to how to be intentional mm-hmm. uh, about our marriage. And mm-hmm. it, it also provides gr- some great language yes. for us, because at the time, we just didn't know how to talk to each other about different dynamics that we're experiencing. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And it also like looking back on it, we didn't have children at the time. Yeah. Right. So now in this new season of our lives with a full house of children, um, we look at it in a different way too. So back, I don't know if like, it was like a huge need for us back then. Cause it's, Correct. back then we, you know, we could go to the movies together at any time. We could yeah. pick up a hobby together. And now it's like, I don't even remember the last time we've been to a movie. But whoa, you like throwing me under the bus? No, right it's just the reality. Oh, okay, right, we have right, four right, right. kids. Dang. But but what I'm saying is like we there do has spend time together. We do spend time together. Yes, but there has to <laughs> let me finish. Right, there right, has right, to right. be an intentionality to it. Right, and yeah, that's, that's right. what that's true. I think that's what marriage dynamics helped us to learn way back then is yes. that it has to be intentional and we were able to put this into practice. Yes. In this new season of True. our lives. I think this conversation, just if you're listening to us, uh, to this conversation, uh, hopefully it'll benefit you as a as a married couple, mm-hmm. if you're married, or even just take some principles if you're not married, um, or if you're dating, or if you're a parent, mm-hmm. or single, even a single parent, it might, you know, some of these principles might help you in, as you develop and, and nurture your relationships. Because yeah. it's not, it, 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 we learned it in marriage for sure, but this can also be applied to so many different uh, areas of life. Uh, or, well, not areas of life, but relationships. Like, yeah. Because I would say, like, to have recreational companionship, you need, like, another person. Yes. Thank you for that. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. okay. So here's the thing. There. We're really excited uh, to be joined by our great friends, Dick and Anna G. Uh, Dick served as an elder in our church, in the GLB church, mm-hmm. where Marina, Marina and I are ministering there. Mm-hmm. And his wife, Anna, is joining us with us today. And we're going to talk about this. They've been married a lot longer than us. They're way older than us. So, wow. You know, they've got so much wisdom that they're going to give us today. But they've got some great stories here uh, that we're going to share with each other. And we hope that you, as you listen to this, it'll help you, it'll encourage you. And anyway, Dick and Anna, we're happy to have yes. you guys with us today. Thank you. Thank you. It's yeah. great to be here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's great to be here. Thank you for inviting us. It's going to be fun. Okay, so we... You know, instead of introducing you guys, we would like for you guys to kind of give us a little backstory of your guys' relationship, how long you guys married, how many children, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, how you guys, maybe even a little bit brief, how, how you guys met, 
Uh, just a little backstory so we can get a little bit of, uh, of uh, your relationship and then we'll dive into some of the things we want to talk about. Sorry. Okay, great. You want me to start? Yeah. Well, I'm Anna G and uh, I've been married to Dick for uh, 33 years Whoa, okay. and we wow. have two daughters, beautiful daughters, uh, mm-hmm. Caitlin, she's 20 seven and Rachel, who's 22 and our oldest Caitlin, she is married to, um, a, a wonderful man named Corey. Yeah. So, um, so we, they just got married. So we got, at least we have one, uh, child off the payroll and then, <laughs> nice. and then uh, K- uh, Rachel just, uh, graduated. So she's half off the payroll. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Nice. And we, and we both were students at UC Berkeley, uh, when we first met and, uh, yeah. All right. We, yeah. We college were converted love. on the campus ministry yep. and we, yeah, we're college, college sweethearts. Love. College sweethearts. Right? Yes. Yeah. Love it. How long did you guys date before you guys got married? Probably year and a half. Year and a half. Or yeah, so. we, I mean, uh, we liked each other. Yeah, we, way we liked then. each other. We were building. It took us about a a year of building. There was a pause because we graduated, and right. and I went to live in Hong Kong, Hong Kong for a couple right. months. But I came back. Then we started dating for a year. Mm-hmm. We got engaged. Uh, engaged for about seven months, and we yeah. got married. All right. Nice. nice. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, we are excited to be able to talk to you guys about this, some of this stuff here today. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we wanted to start off by asking you guys, what is a fun story, fun or funny story, and what is like a fight story? Great. Okay. I have a really good funny story. So Dick and I, we were celebrating our anniversary one night and uh, we decided to go out to downtown Los Angeles to stay in a hotel. And so we packed this picnic basket, Mm -hmm. right? And then, but the funny part was when we approached the hotel, we were fighting to like, you take the picnic basket. No, you take it because we were both like embarrassed to carry (laughs) the picnic (laughs) basket into the hotel. How big was the basket? it, It was like, a good size basket, okay, like a okay. typical picnic basket. Uh-huh. And so when then when we walked in, obviously I won the fight. So Dick had to carry it. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. But we walked in and he tried to hide it behind him. <laughs> and the, <laughs> the, the, the clerk said, hey, what do you have in your hand? And then we were like, oh, well, we're celebrating our, our anniversary. He was like, your anniversary, because of that, I'm going to give you a big old sweet. And so we were both like, oh, my gosh, this thing that we were embarrassed about got us a suite instead of a regular hotel room. So yeah. I Dude, thought that, that was incredible. hilarious. That's awesome. So, so now I proudly say it's our anniversary. Yes. And, and, yeah, uh, I know. And you'll carry the picnic basket That's for now right. on. Right. <laughs> yeah, for real. Wow. Okay. Okay, give us a fight story. Um, I think Anna's going to need to share oh, this. Oh, okay. 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 Let's go. Um, okay, so. Okay, so Dick is a USC fan, like a diehard USC fan. Like he was a diehard USC fan even when he was in grade school to the point that, and and mind you, we were both from UC Berkeley, okay? We did not attend USC, but his older brother and sister did. And so therefore, even when we were at Berkeley, he wore USC clothing. And I'm like, can't you just wear some Berkeley clothing on campus? <laughs> that tells you just how much a diehard he is. Yeah. Anyway, so when we got married, I know that he needs his own time and he he loves his sports and that's fine with me. Mm-hmm. Totally get that. Totally get that. But it was, mind you, we're now married for 23 years. And so he, at that time, and he was just going to all these USC games every single weekend from August to November. It it became a season that I dreaded. Well, because because you had season tickets, right? Correct. Football. He did. Yeah. And with his sister. Oh, yeah, wow. That's but right. he had been going for twenty three years. No, no, no. He had oh. been probably going for how much? How for long? About uh, um, about she had the, t- the season tickets for about ten years or so. Right. Okay. okay. So, so for they about ten were years. Ten he's years. going every fall. Yes. To college football games mm-hmm. on Saturdays or whenever they are and right. attending those yes. as a, kind of a hobby that he has. Yes. Like, this and is my first thing. I, I think it was more than a hobby. <laughs> oh, okay. There it is. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Actually, that's, All right. that's why there was a fight Sorry. because yes. uh, because for me it was like I couldn't understand what, you know, why can't you let me do what's what's it's close to my heart. Yeah, it's passionate. Right, okay. right. So initially, okay. I was a good wife. Like, yeah, go for it. You know, have fun. But then, 
I don't know if you know, but these USC games, it takes out almost your entire day, For sure. right? With the yeah. tailgate party, yes. the parking, the entire game, and then trying to get out of that crazy parking lot. Right. And so I start feeling like, for lack of a better word, like a USC widow, you uh-huh. know, every uh-huh. season. I just dread it August to November. And finally, one day I'm like, I am just so tired of this. Um, yeah. So that that was the fight. Wait, did you mm-hmm. have kids? You had the girls during this time or was it before the girls? No, we definitely yeah. had kids. Okay. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kids. Yes. Yeah. So you're talking 10 years every fall. Dick's doing this. And then year 22, 23, you're just like. No, at, at 23. Three years yeah. of being married. And you, what happened right. in the fight? You like blew up at him or something I like blew that? up and I'm like, I'm tired of it. And um, and so he just couldn't understand. Mm-hmm. Did he still so, go to the yeah, game that day? It was a source of contention. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, still, did. he still went to the game. But it's a source, it was a source of contention Sure, for us. Got it, got yes. it, got it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Got it. So mm-hmm. then one day um, – they invited us, me, to the game. Like, mm-hmm. do you want to be a permanent, like, come and join us yeah. forever? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, you know that old saying, if you can't beat them, join them, right? Yeah. So I decided to join them. The reason why I didn't join them all this time was because I just didn't, I didn't like football, number mm-hmm. one. Number mm-hmm. two, perhaps because I just didn't know how to watch it. Yeah. So when I decided to join him in watching the USC games, like going live to the games, gr- he graciously let me ask him every silly question. Like what, what just happened? What, what does first and 10 mean? And mm-hmm. just all of that, like, don't laugh at me. You come got it. Got it. Girl, I, don't know. There? I don't know anything you're saying right now. Okay. But yeah. now I yeah. totally know what, how to watch football. Okay. So, so I want to back up real quick. Sure. So, okay. So you were resentful towards Dick about his, his passion. Right, this because fall. it took time away from it, me. Yeah, took time it away take, from you. Take right. him out. Yeah, okay. you know how USC games are. They're like, no, I get it. I get it. I get but it. even with like little kids too, like I would be like, where are you going? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I get yeah. it. So, what was going on through your mind, Dick? Were you kind of like, oh, let her deal with it. That's her I, issue, not mine. But like, how, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> how did she like process that? Well, I, I mean, I think I always uh, wish she would enjoy it, or, yeah. or um, wish she she'd uh, at least understand. Um, you know, and I think that uh, back then I I didn't really understand also how how you can fit these things together where you have a passion, but but um, but I know we need to spend time. So I was trying, I was trying my hardest to spend time elsewhere. Okay. Uh, but this was kind of like ended up to be my, my enjoyment. And then Got we it. do another thing for uh, other enjoyment together type thing. Got oh. it. So but to you. That's a substantial amount of time. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> so, but in your head, you're like, this is my thing. I wish she loved this thing, but. She doesn't. So I'm just going to keep on doing it because it's my, but we have other things that we do together. So in your mind, it was like, it was almost justified to, yeah. do you know what I mean? Well, I, I, I think, you know, in marriage, you always make a bunch of compromises. Sure, so, sure, sure. So, uh, so I, I, I figured I was compromising things like action movies and, and, and all these other things. <laughs> like to do stuff either. that she <laughs> wanted. So it's like, well, at least, at least if I was to pick one thing, yeah, you know, yeah. Let, me, let me do the USC oh, football okay, thing. Okay, got it. Yeah, got it. Got it. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Because that's normal, right? Everybody, I won't call it a hobby. Everybody in their marriage has like their own thing that they sure. love to do. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. But mind so, you, can I tell you something? Yeah. Because yeah. you, Ruben, since you're a UCLA fan, I'm a big UCLA there, football fan. Yes. But I became such an avid, like a true blue USC fan. And the reason why I know that is because when USC plays against Cal Berkeley, I still root for USC. Really? Dang, Secondly, girl. All right. if USC ever loses, I get a visceral reaction in my stomach. Like, <laughs> wow. I'm sick to my stomach. I have okay. a non- that's, that's, pretty- how, that's how we know we're emotionally bonded because we get <laughs> sick together. Okay, wait. So, okay. That's amazing. This, yeah. You went yes. from, you sort of like resented the fact that it would take him away for this amount of time to being like this diehard, yes. like um, screaming the, your heart out at these games. The Lord, it, yeah. Wow. Lord performed a miracle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so wow. what was, so was it, do you feel like you'd like, just, I just gave up. I'm not going to fight this anymore. I'm just going to, was that kind of the demeanor or was it? I think a it, part of it was just, I, 
I realized like that's a lot of time spent apart and I would just love to join him. If you can't beat him, join him. I'd yeah. rather join him. And um, I, I didn't, I just didn't think that he would want me to ask a ton, ton of questions, but he was so happy I was with him. Yeah. He allowed me to ask tons of questions on how yeah. to. That's great. Yeah, I was just so happy that she was there that uh, I, yeah. I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't any obstacle for right. her to enjoy sure. it as well. He's very right. gracious. Sure. I whispered all through me throughout the game. <laughs> so it just sounds like like there was a barrier initially, and then you just were like, okay, hey amen, I'm going to I'm gonna push through this because I'm yes. going to be with my husband. That's right. That's right. And so and what do I you- I found it super enjoyable. Yeah. And end. so what are some That's like cool. other things that you had found through this, you know, like it was initially a, bar- a barrier. Now it's like this thing that unifies you and you do together. Like what are some like, you know, positives besides, you know, that you get to do it together, that you're a diehard and you're screaming right, your heart right. out. Like what are some other positives in your relationship that that created? Oh gosh. Well, with just the USC game or other things? Yeah. 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 Or yeah. both. Well, I just think that we've learned to do besides USC, just a lot of different recreational companionship type activities. And we just realized that we are together with experiencing emotional highs and lows like when USC wins we're like high-fiving each other yeah, yeah. when mm-hmm. USC lo- loses he's not he's not sad by himself <laughs> <You know? laughs> another thing we started doing together was uh-huh. actually running marathons so we, right, we ran yeah. like two mm-hmm. full marathons and two halves and uh, again the victory of crossing that finish line mm-hmm. together that's an emotional that's cool. high the pain of our knees and, emotion, yeah. you know, yeah. but we're experiencing it together. Right. Yeah. I mean, we, we talked about some of the bucket list things we had. And, and so, and one of those things we shared was the, the ability to say that, Hey, we, we completed a marathon. Yeah. And so that's cool. And so f- we took that on with each other, you know, and, and be able yeah. to enjoy that time together. So, yeah. yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. I was that's trying great. to get Ruben to do well, it. You me, mentioned but, like yeah, that okay. incidental uh, <laughs> contact. Oh yeah, I like, you know I, I like what you mentioned. Well, I you know I think one of the things that um, that has one of the things one of the benefits that we've had in, in doing some of these uh, recreational things together. I was thinking about is the term uh, incidental contact came to me. Okay, is that you know uh, I think a lot of these activities you know we kind of think that uh, well we got to do this together to to bond together or whatnot, but. But I think they're they're really a conduit of spending more time together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. so whatever it is, it's uh, you know I think the the you're you're bonded together when you have you, that you have more opportunity when you spend more time together. And so um, so the USC games wasn't just about the USC games, mm-hmm. but it was. Um, it was spending, you know, spending the day together, uh, enjoying, uh, uh, enjoying different things together. We, we, you know, a lot of times we take trips together. We'll go up to the Cal at the Cal game. We'll go to Stanford at the Stanford game. Uh, you know, we, uh, one of the things we, uh, was on my bucket list as a child was going to Notre Dame and seeing the USC Notre Dame game and, uh, and, and to be able to, to do that together. Uh, but, we just were able to spend time together. Cool. Um, yeah. You know, I think one of the things we do a lot together is, you know, we decided to pray together mm-hmm. and it's, and, it, and, and all these things we do together, whether it's going out to dinner, it, it, it's, it's those times of, you don't think about it, but it's those times of being in the car mm-hmm. and you just have a little conversation mm-hmm. and some incidental mm-hmm. contact. We pray together and before we pray, we just have a little conversation, mm-hmm. and and all these little conversations allow us to build that uh, close intimacy. So, so oh. I was going to ask you guys, like, so Marina and I have known you guys for for a little for a while now, mm-hmm. and we know a little bit about your story. So from like your you you've shared with us about a little bit about your first few years of marriage and right. a lot of the challenges that were there, mm-hmm. just in regards to you know two people becoming one, and you just right. bring in all their stuff, and then. But obviously, over the years, you've we we've been able to witness mm-hmm. kind of like you're you're an incredible example yeah. of this yeah. of this aspect of intentionally doing things together, spending time together, and yeah. how that has yeah borne fruit uh, of emotional intimacy in your lives and your marriage yeah. And so I was just curious if you could share a little bit about that, like what what was happening. Uh, you know, in your first couple of years of marriage, what was what was being revealed in yourselves to where you had to make decisions 
to start really pouring into uh, this aspect of marriage to build that intimacy. Does that make sense? Yeah. Hey, well, yeah, exactly. You know, every, every time someone's new in marriage, there's, there's really the, the, the mixing of, of two different independent lives, right. Yeah. And trying to yeah. combine them together. And so, uh, so a lot of early marriage, it's, a lot of it is like, I'm also trying to, you know, we're also trying to preserve the things we like to do. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of recreational activities for me in young in marriage was like, I, I like to go out and play basketball, Okay, you know? So that's not something I could bring Anna, you know, or yeah. I could bring Anna, but she didn't want to, you know, <laughs> yeah. she didn't want to go, but, <laughs> but, but, you know, so I enjoy that, but it's, but it's, but it's separate and apart. So, um, so a lot of early marriage, you know, we, uh, we, we didn't spend, you know, we, we kind of had a lot of, uh, pursuing our own interests, sort of separate you interests, know, separate. Yeah. you know, kind of preserving that time, so to speak. Right. Yeah. Um, and I think it was, it, it was basically that marriage, we, we took marriage dynamics that you referenced mm -hmm. oh, okay. and mm -hmm. it was the, the idea of recreational companionship mm -hmm. where, where it talked about, you could do a lot of things you know, for recreation, but if you could do it together, mm -hmm. there's that synergy of not just enjoying it, but spending that time together. And I think that's what really got us thinking about mm -hmm. different opportunities. We can really make sure we spent time together. Right. Do you mind if I read something that from that book? Yeah, um, sure. 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 Oh, so that'd be great. In, in the yeah. marriage dynamics class that we took as well, um, we use, utilize this book called His Needs, Her Needs. And the author, Willard Harley, he writes that among the five basic male needs, spending recreational time with his wife is second only to sex. Wow. <laughs> For the typical husband, mm -hmm. instead of making steady deposits on each other's love banks by having fun together, the couple with separate recreational interests misses a golden opportunity. They often spend some of their most enjoyable moments in the company of someone else mm -hmm. with the distinct possibility of building a love bank account with that person. If you want a fulfilling marriage, that person must be your spouse. Of course, we are talking about a mutually enjoyable recreation. Mm -hmm. So I think that, you know, mm -hmm. along with you guys, when you guys took it, we, when we took it, we we're like, okay, we really need to spend some recreational time yeah. together yeah. to build our marriage instead of like our own little separate lives. Yeah. Right. I think that love bank idea was huge for us mm -hmm. because it was like that idea that you're like putting into your marriage, but right. this recreational companionship, like it wasn't, it wasn't like this thing that we thought was a big deal, mm -hmm. right. but I, we understood that like, wait, no, it is because you're, mm -hmm. when you're together, when you're enjoying something and you have all the highs and lows of an experience together, you're putting in those deposits. Right. Yeah. The if, love bank. if you think about it, you know, an emotional intimacy, um, you know, the more emotions you experience together, you know, that, I mean, it, it's, it seems simple, but the more emotions you can experience th together, the more intimate you are going to be. Mm -hmm. right. And, um, and, and as every year has gone by, you know, we've been married for 33 years, but you think about it, it's like, we've had 33 years of just uh, enjoying those highs and lows, mm -hmm. those emotions, you know, mm -hmm. we've, you know, we've been together at, through some of the most fun times, you know, I mean, think about uh, all the fun times I, I've been able to experience, you know, just the, the, every USC win last minute, uh, <laughs> in, in the Rose Bowl, you know, um, you know, yeah. going to Notre Dame, you know, uh, going yeah. on all these trips, yeah. being able to eat Kobe steak in Kobe, Japan, being able oh. to, uh, you know, being able to sit at, in the La Sagrada Familia, uh, you know, and just in, in the, in Spain, you know, a cathedral where, okay, I'm going to need uh, you to stop because yeah, now I'm getting like, jealous. Yeah, I know. But just kidding. You know, all, going. all of these different things that I've, uh, that we've enjoyed, that, uh, yeah. that, like, that we all went these to emotions. I'm like, we went to Panda Express the other day and that was really cool. <laughs> I would <laughs> never. <laughs> but what's great about it is that if I think about all the, the highlights of, yes. of my life, yeah, it's been with Anna. Yeah, that's cool. And so you that's know, you awesome. can't. Precious. You know, it's it's thirty three years of building yeah. this emotional intimacy. What would yes. you say to couples that are having hard time uh, with this aspect in terms of? Because here's the thing: I think sometimes, um, you know, we're all wired differently, mm -hmm. and uh, some are wired for spontaneity. They love this like elements of surprise and. 
spontaneity and like randomness. You're like, let's go do this. Let's go on this hike right now, you know, kind of thing. And, uh, you know, we've counseled different couples where the husband and the wife are very different. One is likes the spontaneity and the other one it gets very flustered by that. Uh, and yet because of the differences, sometimes there can be kind of a stalemate. And so then nothing really happens. They just kind of kind of go on in their lives and nothing. Well, they don't make it a priority. It's not a priority, yeah. right? Yeah. And so um, how much, like even in thinking about this, how much of, of the times that you guys spend was spontaneity versus like intentionality? Like we made a decision to invest in this area. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. It, I mean, it, everybody's going to be a little bit different. Yeah. But, um, but I'm going to reference your own podcast, the law okay. of entropy yeah. thing, because, right. uh, you know, because that's a big thing. And uh, I, you know, we think about is, is that, you know, if if you're not putting energy in something, the natural course is that you're it's going to go into disorder. You know, right. if you're right. if you're not spending time and planning and, and thinking about recreational companionship, it's it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And um, and, and we, we've been through all i mean this everybody has a season in life you know I, I think one of the one of the key moments that i can look back on is when we were right in the thick of life mm -hmm. when when we had young kids when they were going to school when we were you know when we were still building our careers we were you know we were still tight on 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 money those 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 are the times where it was easy to say well you know, we can't spend this time because we have to spend time with our kids. We yeah. can't, we can't go out because, uh, we have to save this money. Yeah. And, and, and for that period of time, a lot of it, it was entropy where we were, we were kind of like mm. living life together, but drifting a little bit. Yeah. Mm. And I think we had to make that decision to say, you know, we're, we gotta, we gotta preserve some time together. We gotta, we gotta, um, make sure that we, we, we go out on those weekend yeah. things and we go out on, on dates and, and, and it was awkward at first because, you know, we go out to dinner and all we talk about is our kids, but the more we, we spent our time together, mm -hmm. the more we got back into that rhythm, That's I think cool. of, of mm -hmm. having just that, rec you know, just that intimacy. Together. Right. So I, I think that when you're in the thick of raising children, you definitely, it needs to be intentional. Yeah. You yeah. can't, That's I mean, good point. you would love to make a spontaneous, but mm -hmm. it just doesn't happen sure. oftentimes yeah. if you don't schedule it. Yeah. yeah. No, that's good. Cause there are, I mean, a lot of us are in that season right now. Yes. We're raising right. kids. We have schedules, we have drop-offs, we have pickups. Mm -hmm. Of course we want to spend time together. Yeah. Um, but this, yeah, the spontaneity. You know, when the time is there, we're like just tired. Physically well, that's drained true. Right. From all that stuff. That's so. true. And let me throw the one thing that just came to me is that, is that you'll never, in, you'll never regret investing in, in your relationship together. Mm, I great. remember when Anna and I were first, uh, we're celebrating one of our landmark anniversaries, our 20th year anniversary. We were, you know, we were right still in the thick of it. And we're like thinking, okay, well, we could either take a big trip and spend more money or, or take us, you and know, we could take a smaller kids. trip and a shorter trip. And, you know, and we could just say we celebrated our, our anniversary, but, mm -hmm. um, well, a lot of people encourage us, hey, you know, this is your, you know, invest in, in your time, your relationship yeah. together. And, and yeah. we we did. And um, and and to th this day, we, we we never regret it. You know, where cool. we, we we say, hey, we're going to put time together. We're going to spend yeah. on our relationship. Yeah, so. it took our friends to say, what? Seattle versus Hong Kong? <laughs> so, yeah yeah go to hong kong really encourage us oh, to go to hong kong yeah go to hong kong <laughs> totally love, love yeah. loved it yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 no that's awesome i yeah. love i love hearing that and i think yeah. i appreciate anna what you're saying about uh couples currently who are raising yeah uh in the in the thick of it raising children school-age children because it is it is challenging to yeah. Uh, to plan for those things, but I appreciate yeah. the encouragement to consider that as yeah. a priority yeah. in our marriages. Yeah. And I, I do like what Dick said about like, you'll never regret making that investment because mm -hmm. it is, it, it will feel like when you're raising kids, like you're making that extra effort, you know, to like plan something, to schedule yeah. something when we're tired. No, we're going to like make this, you know, investment to one another to go spend time together, yeah. even though we 
feel like we should be napping at that point. But <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's it's good for the marriage. It's good for the will, unity. Yeah. yeah. And I was going to say, we've also felt, we've also, I mean, currently we're raising four school age children. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, I think we've seen the need for intentionality in our relationship marriage wise, but we've also seen, uh, this is for those who are listening who may not be in a marriage relationship, but we've, or even in a marriage relationship, but we've also seen the, the need for intentionality in our friendships, just in building those friendships with other people as well. That, sure, yeah. uh, the need for that level of, of intentionality, if we want to keep, uh, that level of community, yeah. right. With other, with yeah. other people. So yeah. it's energy outside energy being mm-hmm. poured right. into, yeah. right. uh, our relationship. Yeah, we, so, you know, some other recreational companionship that Dick and I really enjoy is we love hanging out with this um a group of friends that we call our home team you know uh-huh. because we've kind of declared that we'll always have each other's back and that's nice. why we're each other's home team nice. and so yeah. but it's like we always love throwing dinner parties and and it just fills us up yeah you know and encourages us so we have this outside energy put into our marriage and and um and it really helps that um, they're pretty good cooks too. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so you guys you enjoy some good food. You have to have companionship with people that are good cooks. Yeah, I like that. Well, so. For I like sure. And also, I want to mention that we we um, love going out with this couple. You know, your friends too, Dave and Monica Cortez, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and we love space. And we found out they love space just as much as us. And mm-hmm. we literally sometimes we play till the morning hours and so yeah. it's like yeah. ridiculous yeah 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 <laughs> but it's so and get in little fights here and there <laughs> yeah little competitive yeah, arguments our team yeah. our team and dick competitive and our arguments team. there and yeah. sometimes monica and i get kind of snippy at each other yeah time. there it is there it yeah. is that's but great hey, that's true friendship yeah <laughs> anyway, it is that's but great. I, but yeah like you mentioned you need friendships to you need to yeah. to yeah uh, hold up your marriage yeah but that's something that you're doing together that's right? great that you right. get to enjoy exactly yeah, mm-hmm. i love that that's very cool yeah so as we close out kind of we're going to land the plane here in a, in a minute or so but i'd love to ask you guys you know what words if 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 there's somebody if we're kind of stuck like we just we're st- again we're at a stalemate we're like I don't even know what she likes to do or he likes to do or how can we connect? What's the they first? They can't agree on something to or do Or they can't together. agree on something. They, what's the first step that mm. maybe a stuck couple could try, mm. you know, in your, in your perspective? What's something that you could just try? Well, okay. Can I, this is my opinion. Um, to me, I know this may not sound like recreation to people, but to me, Recreation is fun, right? It should be fun. Sure. So to me, Dick, for Dick and I, what's fun is praying together. We mm-hmm. love praying together. I look forward to it every morning. So kind of like you guys have this window right here. It's so beautiful. But we also have a window that looks out to our garden. And every morning we we have two chairs that's pointed out to the window. Okay. And we just... We pray together, and I think that yeah. Sometimes people will come by the house when we're not, um, and then they're they're wondering why we have chairs faced against the window. <laughs> right, but I I love hearing Dick share his most intimate thoughts to God, and he hearing my intimate thoughts to God, and that that's such a bonding. That's cool. Emotional intimacy that to me builds the marriage to the point that you you want to please them. Mm. Like you mentioned, if you're at a stalemate. Mm-hmm. We were at a stalemate, like with the USC game, mm-hmm. until I realized, like, no, I love him enough that I want to be interested in his interests. Yeah. And he loves me enough to be interested in my interests. Yeah. For example, like, I love antiquing. <laughs> I'm like a little girl in a, a candy store when I go to antique stores. Uh-huh. And Dick sincerely goes with me and he even initiates at times. And he doesn't just fold his arm and oh stand my in a gosh, corner. Dick, he, you are a good man. <laughs> That's incredible. He's genuinely right, Dick. Or are, are you genuine? <laughs> oh, 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 wow. On the spot. On the spot. <laughs> on the spot. Are you, Dick? No, are you? Definitely. definitely. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I think. Um, I think the big thing is 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 keep trying, yeah. and and really really try to figure out and really come at it with a, an open heart. Yeah. You know, yeah. I think in the antique yeah. thing. It's like, well, I'm I'm not there to look at all the uh, maybe all the the 
antique, antique dishes or whatever. But but there's interesting things that I like to see, and so yeah. Uh, yeah. so so I'll, I'll I'll make the most out of it and, and so I cool. enjoy it. So yeah. Mm. But um, oh, yeah. you know, Great. sometimes you'll find things that you enjoy together, and and sometimes you don't. But if you just keep trying, you'll find something. True. True. That's great. Well, I love great. that encouragement. The first step to just maybe try praying together. Yeah, that's huge. And, you know, uh, we've had fits and starts with that, like stops and starts with that in our mm-hmm. relationship. But mm-hmm. I realize, you know, sometimes we just need bite sized goals. Right. So yeah. uh, maybe it's like, hey, for the next five days, yeah. let's just try praying together. Yeah. Uh, it's just a great first step. Yeah. Uh, or going to we, prayer walk once a week. Yeah. Going to yeah. prayer walk once a week, something yeah. like that mm-hmm. to where there's a rhythm that's built in. And then mm-hmm. to your point, you eventually, you can learn, you study each other, you learn mm-hmm. more about each other and in those moments and are able to make decisions about how yes. we can invest in our relationship. So mm-hmm. thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. That's you. awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you for being you. here with us. This has I been know. a great conversation. Thank you for having yeah. us. Yeah. Thank I, you. And I do want to just thank you guys because uh, Ruben and Marina, you guys have really helped Dick and I to navigate some of the the most difficult times in our marriage mm. and our parenting. And I, I just want to thank you guys so much. Yeah, we love you guys we love very you guys. much. Well, you guys are heroes in the faith to us. Yes. I want you guys to know that. Not that you're that much older than us. I know Ruben, <laughs> I know Ruben. said something different <laughs> in the beginning, but we really look up to you guys. We do. And- You've set us in a great yeah. example of, yeah. of healthy marriage and yeah. emotional, emotional intimacy. Yeah. Uh, in the marriage. So we look to you guys because again, we're in the thick of it right now with mm-hmm. children. And so mm-hmm. we look forward to being, I mean, you guys are, we're empty nesters. Now you got them all back, but you know, <laughs> still you're in a season of life that we look forward to. And thank you so much for sharing yeah. uh, what you did today in the spirit of what you shared about prayer. Yes. We'd like to ask you, uh, either one of you, you want Dick? Uh, okay. We'd like to invite Dick. If you could say a prayer, for our listeners uh, today, that would be great. And we'll close out like that in our podcast. Yeah, let's yeah. certainly, let's pray. Uh, God, just thank you for the opportunity to have uh, companionship. And uh, I know that, that we can just easily take it for granted. And uh, But just uh, help us always appreciate that and just the opportunity to to just keep building. And I know that, uh, uh, God, just, it, it's, it's just so rewarding. I just... I, I just I'm just so grateful for the way you've blessed our lives and just and helped me to have a great partner like Anna and and, and I know for all the listeners that they have that opportunity mm-hmm. to just keep building uh, with with their friends as well. But just thank you so much. We love you and pray this in your son's name. Amen. 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 Thank you thank guys. You.